Needham has had uh, a reputation of being a dry town, meaning that there are no bars or liquor stores in town, but in a turning economy where profits create smiles, well, could that soon change? Natalie Guthrie explains. Drive around Needham, and while you'll find plenty of restaurants, you will not find any bars or liquor stores. Although the town allows the sale of alcohol in restaurants with more than 100 seats and one-day licenses for events where alcohol will be served on site, some would like to see package stores. In response to a recommendation from the town's Council of Economic Advisors, the Board of Selectmen held a public hearing to gauge the public's feelings about changing the ban. One main advantage that the subcommittee feels would benefit the town at this stage is to fill empty retail store locations uh, and bring jobs to town. We also feel that uh, filling up storefronts downtown creates a synergy in which people would then shop local. And while some questioned the economic advantage lifting the ban would create, a number objected the measure because they felt that it compromised the safety of their children and increased the availability of alcohol to young people. It's very qualitative, qualitative to say foot traffic creates X amount of dollars for the town. I think the economic piece, when you actually get a net number, looks like it's break even at best for the town. Would I want to be able to pick up a bottle of wine for dinner when I go pick up my milk and eggs? Of course I would want to do that, but those are, that's something I want. It's not something I need, and I think that the need really lies with protecting our children. I think it's a slippery slope, and my main concern has to do with the impact on our youth. And um, I do draw a lot of um, sound points from the density study that's being circulated here. The study that was available at the meeting was the Metro West Adolescent Health 2010 survey, in which about 15 percent of the 772 Needham 7th and 8th graders surveyed admitted to drinking alcohol regularly, and 23 percent of the 1,326 high school students surveyed admitted to binge drinking within the past month. While the issue of teens and alcohol use was one that all in attendance were not happy about, some felt that it was the responsibility of parents and not the town to monitor their children's behaviors. If limiting the sale of alcohol in Needham was effective at helping our children, then I would say, what are the statistics? Why do we still have a substance abuse problem uh, on the same norm as uh, all other communities in, in Needham? If, if we're going to talk about our children, what we need to do is we need to talk about um, modeling, um, you know, appropriate use of alcohol. I grew up in this town. I was a Needham High School uh, graduate, and I have to tell you, there was no issue whatsoever getting alcohol in this town. Our concerns for our children should be to teach them our style of life. If one does not want to drink at home to show their children that they think drinking is inappropriate, that is fine. But there's a world out there with many things. If we want resilient children, we have to teach them that there are choices to be made out there. The Board of Selectmen did not debate the issue, but will continue to discuss the topic at later meetings. For the Needham Channel News, I'm Natalie Guthrie.